I was in a, uh, in a country called Pakistan. It's really not the country that God called me first. My heart is burning for Europe, but I have a heart for this generation. That's the reason I'm traveling the world. I've been to more than 90 countries and everywhere I've seen God's power. To make this long story short, I was invited to go to the Olympic Stadium. I was excited because I like the big crowd. Many years I said, no, 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 I don't want to go to Pakistan. But one day the Lord said, you have to go. So I obey and they rent the big Olympic Stadium in Karachi. And uh, the Lord said, I don't want you to go to the Olympic Stadium. I want you to start small. I was shocked because God loves the multitude. Me, I love the multitude. And, but I obey. So I decided to go over there and we started a small meeting outside the city. But very quickly, the first night, many people got healed. It was like 400 people only the first night. The second night, already thousands of people were there. And the people get healed. It was absolutely powerful. And then the third night, the crowd grow, grew up. On the fourth morning, the mayor of Karachi and the minister of this country came to knock on my door on the hotel room. They said, Mr. Traxel, we heard the miracles that you are doing. I said, no, no, it's not me who are doing miracles. It's Jesus. They say, we want to invite you to come downtown Karachi. And to make this long story short, they put in the middle of the street, they st blocked the main streets in downtown Karachi, and they put a stage there. And then I arrived there, it was a multitude of multitudes, so many people there. And I will never forget, uh, as God was moving, the first meeting, healing was taking place. He healed the chief of the Muslim police who was dying from an hepatitis and a cancer. God's power just show, him, sh show up, touch this guy, revealing in front of everybody. He was the chief of the Muslim police. Uh, secret police of the Muslim uh, Muslim country uh, of the Muslim uh, police country. Sorry, and Lord heal him with such compassion. He repent, gave his life to Jesus. The same stage. It was a lady of the the wife of a pastor who had a, a, a tumor on the breast. And actually she came out of the hospital. The breast was bleeding, full of water. No more, no more possibilities. But the Lord touch her and instantly the breath gets recreated, the new skin, the new cells get recreated. It was a powerful miracle that the husband testified the next, the next day. But I never forget, when I was preaching, they put me on the stage on the cover, somebody who was born with the hips turned to the opposite. Both legs were hanging on the shoulders. And this person has dry hands and he was mute and deaf. When I saw that, I was moved with compassion. All of you who are preaching to the crowd, you know when you take one, two, five minutes, how long it is when you're in front of a big crowd and you are supposed to preach or to minister. But I took all the time. I was so moved with compassion. But to be honest, I used all the techniques, all the things that I knew. I cast out the demonic spirit, which is one of the things behind sicknesses sometimes and many times there is a spirit. We need to cast out the demonic spirit. I did that, but it was not working. I worshiped Jesus. It was not working. I released the power. It was not working. I lay hands on him. It didn't work. I released the faith, the word of faith. It was not working neither. I did all what I knew to do, finally, in front of everybody. And it took me like 15 minutes, like the people said. After 15 minutes, I said to the crowd, and especially to the man, I did my best. Now I let God do his best. I gave, I had a hat. I gave my hat. I said, I give you this hat as a seed and praying that the presence of God will touch you. Then I started to preach again. And suddenly, heaven opened upon my life. I felt somebody touching my pants and at the same time this man who was there he was ejected in front of the big crowd and in the air the hips turned normally he landed on his on his feet normally his dry hands and arms get totally healed his ears get open and he started to praise God 
It was a huge miracle. Actually, heaven just invaded the place. Myself, I was shocked because it was tens of thousands of power just flow through me. It was a huge miracle, but actually the meeting was over because the crowd jumped on the stage willing to touch me. The police and the army had to rescue me to save my life because they were willing to touch me. And as they were touching me, I saw miracles happen all over. My friend, I want to conclude and to finish with that. God is willing to use you the same way he used Jesus, with a demonstration of power. We invite you to join the Global Evangelist Alliance by visiting joingea.org. There you will find resources like the Evangelism Masterclass to help you boldly share your faith.